understand that you have a very long and intelligent mind, into which some things have been added or introduced, can you offer a bit of a view on that? This is the first of the small and large companies that we have to This is the new community we do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new company that we have to do with the new and the use of the mobility assessment, and then you have additional elements to the investment programs that are normally not part of the DNA of agricultural investment. This is, for example, farming service for the country, small data farmers with high meteorological information, early warning systems, small holder data holes, and the concerns, and other risk reduction options. And one of the interesting things about this program is. For example, can you come to that person for the land? This is actually the last year of the most frequent situation. At the moment, it is funded by five dollar programs the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Canada, Sweden, and Belgium. Uh, they have contributed more than 300 million US dollars to this program, which are going to be important over the course of the next few years and before over the course of the next five years. We have rather large scale effects that we are hoping to achieve. Uh, in the medium to long term. So, we are going to do at least 8 million small data farmers, uh, including land management practices, and at least 1 million hectares in the supply chain that we use in greenhouse gas emissions uh, in the amount of at least uh, 18 million tons of CO2 equivalent. That's a lot of coin and money in one effort. So, just in terms of the coin coin, the greenhouse gas emission reductions. How will you achieve that? How will you hope to achieve that? So there are certain agricultural practices that have positive effects on the greenhouse gas emissions, especially those where you do not disturb the soil surface, such as conservation fillers, agroforestry, where you combine agricultural production with additional investment that prevents the raising, that diversifies the income base for small rural farmers, but also through the planting of trees. You have a carbon sequestration benefit. So you can uh, remind the allocation of the future greenhouse gas emission reduction and bring the allocation of the future greenhouse gas emission So this is really a large uh, experiment in a sense to, to find out whether you can do it, whether it works, and what your real effects are. I wouldn't call it an experiment because in real life, the technology is that this that is supposed to actually apply and test it. So it's not really rapid science when you look at the smell of the livelihood and then you try to know the benefits of agricultural productivity gains with longer term gains. The problem is that very often we are using the same model that we have been using uh, during the Green Revolution, where uh, a lot of inputs have been employed, like pesticides and fertilizer, and then very in the short term. Uh, we realize a lot of productivity gains, but over the long term, there's a really high risk of the integration or erosion correlation. So, over the long term, the future trade will be very high for productivity, the risk of going down. And so, what we call sustainable agricultural intensification, these practices uh, have a more sustainable trajectory that does not undermine the ability of the natural systems which underpin uh, the agricultural production. Uh, not undermining those of the abilities to be able to produce good for future generations. So, at the end of it, we will have a more. Okay, I'm not going to go to the problem, but we will have a problem that kind of works on a really large scale, which is nice. And presumably, it could then be extended with the results that we expect to hope to be extended even further. In, in essence, there are two complementary strategies in the adaptation of the area of the sector. The one is actually what works. So, even before climate change came in, into the international dialogue, uh, there have been agricultural practices that have increased the resilience of climate. These were not called the vocation adaptation process, they were not called disaster production process. These were what we would call good rural development process. And one strategy is to upscale what we have already learned uh, at the 